Glory to Jesus Christ. Today is Saturday, April 17th, the fifth Saturday of the fast, the Saturday of the Akathis to the Theotokos, and it's also a day being Saturday that we remember the departed. Uh, so many of the texts from the Triodion on this day speak about those departed this life, uh, and it's with great love and thanksgiving uh, that we remember this day Father John Platko, uh, who fell asleep in the Lord in the year 2005, so 16 years ago, uh, who labored as pastor here at Holy Trinity uh, with, with great uh, love of the church. Uh, he was able to uh, uh, grow the church uh, tremendously, uh, leading to its moving from uh, Kansas City, Kansas into Overland Park. Uh, we remember so fondly Father John, who loved the church so much, who loved the people of the church so much, who loved the children of the church, who loved the music of the church. Uh, and uh, we'll be hearing uh, many of the melodies that he wrote uh, now in Holy Week coming up. Uh, and uh, as soon as we hear some of those, I can immediately just see his face there. Uh, and, I, uh, and and what a, what a talented man he was in so many different ways. Uh, and so again, it's with great love and joy that we remember him on this day. He was taken from us much too early, uh, but we know uh, that he continues to intercede for us, uh, to pray for us, and we know that he's watching over us uh, and probably uh, listening to us as we sing uh, many of the hymns that he wrote. Uh, so again, may his memory be eternal. Uh, on this day, being the Saturday of the Akathis to the Theotokos, I wanted to take us just for a little bit, a little bit about the history uh, of how this ended up where it is in the fast. Uh, so this is from uh, the Lenten Triodion uh, in the introduction by Bishop Callistus, who writes about uh, the hymn, uh, the Akathis uh, to the Theotokos during the fifth week. He writes, the Akathis hymn, so it seems, was originally composed at an epoch when the Annunciation was still celebrated together with Christmas and had not yet become a separate festival. Perhaps at one time it was sung on December 26th, uh, the synaxis of the Theotokos. It was probably during the reign of the Emperor Justinian uh, between 527 and 565 that the Annunciation first began to be celebrated on March 25th, and either when this happened or else soon after, and in any case not later than 718, the Akathist hymn was also appointed to be sung on March 25th. More recently, perhaps, during the period after the fall of Constantinople in 1453, the hymn was transferred from the fixed to the movable calendar, and instead of being sung on March 25th, it was appointed for Saturday of the fifth week. <coughs> At the beginning of the Akathist, there is sung a Kentuckian greatly loved by Orthodox people, and it goes, To you, victorious lady, we your servants inscribe this hymn of thanks, for you have rescued us from tribulation. With your power that never fails, preserve us our whole life from every evil, that we may ever sing, Hail to you, O bride and maiden undefiled. And it seems that this hymn was celebrating the deliverance of the city of Constantinople from its enemies through the aid of the Mother of God. The Kentuckian was probably written in the 7th century by Patriarch Sergius to celebrate the escape of the Byzantine capital from the attack of the Persians in 626. Uh, so we have a couple themes there connected with the Akathist. Uh, one would be that it's connected directly to the Feast of the Annunciation. Uh, and in fact, many of the hymns that we even hear in the Akathist are right from Annunciation itself. Uh, and then we also pick up that theme in the Kentuckian, which would have been written later than the Akathist itself. Uh, but the idea of the Mother of God being a protectress. Uh, and uh, that it was to her that the people prayed as the city was delivered from its enemies. Uh, and so uh, that idea of us being under the protection or under the omophorian of the Theotokos uh, is something very prevalent uh, throughout the whole church calendar. Particularly, it comes uh, to light on uh, October 1st when we celebrate the Feast of 
the protection of the Theotokos. Uh, and so uh, it really is with incredible joy uh, that we hear the Akathist hymn, uh, that we hear of how Mary, as a representative of all humanity, was able to say yes to God, uh, was able in her humility uh, to bring God, the second person of the Trinity, into the world uh, to be able to give him flesh uh, and that he became one of us. Uh, one of the phrases from the Akathist is that she's a ladder uh, that reaches from earth to heaven, uh, that she's the bridge uh, of earth and heaven. Uh, and again, it's with great joy that we ha celebrate this hymn <clears throat> on the fifth uh, Saturday of the fast. Um, from the Triodion, I have one text to read today. Uh, and it says that the Theotokos heard a voice she knew not when the archangel brought her the glad tidings of the Annunciation. And accepting his salutation with faith, she conceived thee, the pre-eternal God. Therefore, in great rejoicing, we also cry aloud to thee, O God, who without change has taken flesh from her, grant peace unto the world and to our souls, great mercy. Uh, and so in this hymn, we hear the direct connection of uh, the Akathist hymn with the Feast of the Annunciation. Uh, and we also pick up on that theme uh, that, uh, that she was able, uh, hearing a voice that she didn't know, uh, that she accepted uh, the greetings from uh, the Archangel Gabriel and with faith, uh, she, without understanding, but with faith, she conceived thee, the pre-eternal God, uh, and that therefore with great rejoicing, we are able to, uh, uh, to take great joy in knowing what has happened for our salvation. Uh, and uh, that, O oh God, who without change has taken flesh from her, grant peace to the world and to our souls, uh, great mercy. Uh, we always pray, Lord, have mercy. Uh, it's something hopefully we're doing much more during the fast. Uh, it's a great reminder to think of uh, the Theotokos as a protectress, uh, that uh, she is an instrument of bringing peace to the world as well. Uh, we know that there's not lots of peace in the world, uh, but uh, that it is possible that we can get there. And we know even historically that it's, that has happened in times as well. Uh, so again, I remind everyone to please uh, remember in your prayers today, Father John Platko of Blessed Memory, uh, and with such great love, we remember him. Uh, and also connected to that on this day, remembering the Theotokos, uh, who, uh, who through great humility and without being able to understand, was able to say yes to God and to really put in motion everything that happens for our salvation. Glory to Jesus Christ.